Johnson scored. Jimmy Johnson minus two laps here at Bristol. Meanwhile, Chase Elliott hasn't let Kyle Larson get away, Rob. No, in fact, he has definitely closed some of that distance that he was behind. It was about 20 car lengths at one point. Now about seven car lengths of separation. Watching a good battle for eighth place right now. Kurt Busch has it. Brad Keselowski all over him. They work their way out of turn four, hammer down into turn one. Brad Keselowski loves Bristol Motor Speedway. It's been a while since he's tasted victory in the uh, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Could be tonight. He's been, been very patient trying to work around Kurt Busch. All right, Kyle Larson right now, our race leader by a half second over Chase Elliott. While we're talking about Coca-Cola Racing family drivers, here is your trivia question. Which Coca-Cola Racing family driver list becoming a dad as one of his big bucket list items? Is it A, Daniel Suarez, B, Bubba Wallace, C, Austin Dillon? Ponder on that, and uh, we'll let you answer those questions at PR and live on Twitter. Grab a Coca-Cola or a Coca-Cola Zero Sugar to unlock thousands of exciting summer surprises. Enjoy Coca-Cola and make this summer the most memorable ever. Watching Denny Hamlin, William Byron now. They've taken the gloves off. Byron running in that 12th spot. Hamlin running the top side. Well, document, despite the fact that he restarted 11th after leading early, Hamlin lost a few spots on that restart on the inside. He's now fighting to get him back. He's now trying to close on Eric Almarola. And he's been trying to get around to El Eric Almarola for quite some time now. So Denny Hamlin's charge back to the front is stalled out as the 11th car is riding in the 11th spot. Let's check in with Brett McBillan. Yeah, since he went back to green, Denny Hamlin really hasn't said much about the car's handling. But Chris Kiebhardt did tell him as they went back to green, he said, look, all the damage was up on the right front, nothing on the right rear. We feel like we've got good tire clearance. Once we get back to the caution again at the end of the stage, we'll go ahead and do some more work on it. But for now, we've done all we can do. We feel like we're in pretty good shape. Matt DiBenedetto running in the third spot. He has some company, both Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick applying pressure as they work their way out of turn number four. We have 90 laps complete here in stage one. They're back in one. This fight for third taking place about a half straight away back in the second place machine of Chase Elliott, so they got a long way to go to catch him. That time off, too, a great run for DiBenedetto, and he extends his advantage over Truex. Kyle Larson's been able to drive away from the field just a little bit. DiBenedetto, like you said, Rob, used that traffic and pulled away a bit from Truex. Yeah, he's doing a great job, is Matt. Of course, he's fighting for an opportunity. The next one, you know what? He's very calm about it, and he's not letting the nerves show on the racetrack tonight. Coming up on the lap cars of Corey LaJoy and Michael McDowell. He'll make their way, make himself safely around the outside of those two cars. And Doug, at this point right now, this half-mile track completely covered by race cars. Now, this field is really spread out. Also watching Kyle Busch, Mark, he's didn't didn't run that well. He is one lap down. He is in the lucky dog spot in 26, but that car doesn't show the potential we usually see out of Kyle Busch. One thing you can count on, though, they will get better. If he gets back on the lead lap, he will be trouble at the end of this race. He usually is. Again, watching the battle for third to Benedetto trying to hold off Truex. As they fight for third, you were just talking about Kyle Busch. He's actually not that far ahead of the race leader. He could theoretically go two laps down into turn three to Benedetto's lead over third place uh, Truex Good observation there, Rob. He only enjoys about a straightaway advantage over Kyle Larson, who is out there picking his way around some lap traffic. He has got a couple of cars that he's got to get around, including Daniel Hemrick. He dives to the bottom of that eight machine here along the front stretch. As he dives into turn one, the fight continues for that third spot, and the battle doesn't last very long. Truex has gotten around Matt DiBenedetto. That means Truex is third. Matt is fourth, closing on DiBenedetto now. The fifth place car, Kevin Harvick. Now, Daniel Hemrick uh, is next up to go a lap down. He's running in the 20th spot. One of the cars, there were 12 that used the wave around. Uh, some of those cars to get back onto the lead lap. Ryan Priest did that, but he's gone back uh, a lap down. Of course, they were on older tires. Mark, let's take the folks to a full field rundown here as we're on lap 90 of 500 that will make up this race. Kyle Larson, the race leader, by a half second over Chase Elliott. De Benedetto are, is going to be scored in third spot, or fourth, rather, Scoring has third and fourth uh, yeah, that's mixed up, up here. Yeah. So Martin Truex Jr. is third. Matt DiBenedetto is fourth. Fifth is Kevin Harvick. Ryan Blaney sixth. Eric Jones seventh. Kurt Busch eighth. Brad Kislowski ninth. And Eric Almarola is tenth. Then in the 11th spot, it's going to be Denny Hamlin. William Byron 12th. 13th, Clint Boyer. 14th, Daniel Suarez. 15th, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. 16th, Alex Bowman. Ryan Newman in the 17th spot. 
David Reagan, 18th, Bubba Wallace, 19th, and 20th, Daniel Hemrick. 21st is going to be Ryan Priest, 22nd, Ty Dillon, 23rd, Corey LaJoy. Uh, 24th will be Paul Menard. Riding in the 25th spot is Chris Busher. 26th, Kyle Busch, the last car on the lead lap. Matt Tift is 27th. 28th driver is going to be Jimmy Johnson. And riding in 29th will be Michael McDowell. Then 30th is going to be Joey Logano being scored two laps down. In the 31st position, Josh Balicki. 32nd, Ross Chastain. 33rd, Reed Sorensen. 34th, B.J. McLeod. 35th, J.J. Yelly, 36th, Landon Castle. Hey, Mark, we've got two laps to go on the stage, side-by-side -side battle for the lead. A playoff point at stake. Chase Elliott gets to the inside of Kyle Larson off turn two. Kyle Larson holds the advantage as they roll into turn three, but here comes Chase Elliott right to his inside. Can he make the passes? We've got the green and white.